and the view of the mind that I've proposed in, in a book I recently published called Thinking Fast and Slow, I speak of two systems, system one and system two. And system one is basically very similar to the concept of an associative memory. And so it's involved in everything. That is, any decision that we make is involved with a rapid intuitive evaluation of the situation, which also has emotional component. And that is true for every decision. It's actually also true for every judgment, because we have immediate automatic responses to everything that we encounter. Any association between two ideas, I mean, as an associative memory is, it's all the, the system of ideas that are stored in your mind with your, the world knowledge, with the emotions associated with them. And, and when there is a decision in a context, it activates many of these ideas, and that generally the shape of this activation has a considerable influence on what happens down the line in the final decisions, which are typically done by another system. So a man brings his child to, uh, to the hospital and the child is badly hurt and the surgeon uh, sees the child and says, I cannot operate uh, on that child, here's my son. Uh, and how long does it take you to figure out this, how that could be? Stereotype is really built into our representation of the world. I mean, it's not. And, and we have gender stereotypes, and so, although this is beginning to change, but certainly when I first heard that joke, there were relatively few women surgeons. There were some, but there were few women surgeons. And, and what comes to mind when you hear the word surgeon is, is actually an image or a cluster of images. And if the images are, are of men, this is, this is what you're going to say. And we, we have very little control over that because associative memory operates on its own. Yeah, I think my main recommendation is that when the stakes are very high, slow down. It's not a very novel recommendation. I, I don't think that people have a lot of control over the small decision they make. And I think that it would be impossible to slow down for every decision. But, but there is not enough difference, the way that people make decisions, between important ones and unimportant ones, and there should be.